Welcome once again to Army Analysis here on Mad Axeman TV, with me Phil. And me, Fernando. Today we are going to be analyzing the Scots Royal East Army. I personally had written this list off at first glance, but I suspect that there is enough in there to make life interesting. What do you make of it, Fernando? I quite like it. It's not perfect, and not a tiger army but it has a lot of good points. It may even be a hidden gem in walls of religion. Why is that then, Fernando? What makes it worthwhile in your opinion? This list is all about the masses of infantry fill. You can have an astonishing array of different types, all with their own unique advantages. Normal pike and shot, impact foot, swordsmen, warriors, dragoons and even some superior regiments. Underestimate them and they will kick your sorry ass all the way to Glasgow and back. The infantry sound almost too interesting. But does that make it easy to pick too many toys and not enough proper units? And what about the mounted? I think picking a decent infantry force is quite easy. 1635 is the year to go for. Then you have the Strothbogey superior unit, some superior warriors, Irish with musket and sword, lots of warriors and as many standard infantry units as you can handle. Okay that is both big and clever. But don't some of these foot have archer skills? Thoughts rubbish surely? Archer skills? What do you mean by that? If you try and say bow in this software package it comes out as bow, which is pants. Archer skills is at least a little more intelligible. Okay, I get it. Anyway, archers are okay in big units, and these can come in big units. They are also warriors so get advantages in combat when they overlap the enemy. And it is not as if you are short of normal pike and shot units either with this army. The warriors with archer skills are a nice bit of variation. Okay, I understand. It's all about the infantry, but what about the horse? Utter crap. Take the minimum, don't even think of doing anything else. That's clear. A good analysis. Thank you Fernando. Okay, that's all from us today. I hope that this episode of Army Analysis has been useful, and I hope you will tune in again soon for more in-depth analysis from me Phil and him, Fernando.